What's up, YouTube? It is the Norse Gaming God, Revan, coming at you uh, with my very, very first YouTube video ever. So uh, forgive some of maybe the uh, the slip-ups I have. Forgive some of the, maybe the low-budget things I, I have here. But I assure you, later on down the road, this will get more and more intricate, a little bit better. Uh, but with that being said, I will get to all the self-promotion at the end of the video uh i know when you watch a video you see the uh, like subscribe love me all that kind of stuff at the very front i'll do it at the back that way you get your answer uh faster uh so anyway without further ado uh if you're watching this video like me uh you have been down the rabbit hole of youtube to solve audio issues while you're streaming especially with the release of the xbox series x in the PS5, with them not having the the optical port, it's been it's created a little bit of a of a flux of questions on how to get that audio right routed to your XLR. So I'm here to tell you, I've I've watched all the videos necessary, and I hopefully this will compile it down into a more focused presentation here. So this is going to going to use the example of I have Astro A50s. Uh, it'll work with the A40s as well or Turtle Beach, but just for this, this example, A50s, also working off a of boom mic, not the headset mic, but we can get into that here a little bit later. So first, what you're going to need, uh, because you do not have the optical port going out of the Xbox or the PS5, first thing you'll need is a audio extractor, HDMI audio extractor. So this is what I personally have. The uh, JTEC, it's very, very simple to use, very self-explanatory to use, um, not a big deal. All this is going to do is just bridge the gap between your Xbox or your PS5 to route the optical cable from this, from your, from your output, from your output to your XLR, okay? Very, very easy. Next, you will need... You will need, where does it go? Here we go, sorry. Need a chat splitter. I'll get into this here in a minute as well, but just, just I wanna give you kind of more segmented solutions. So first thing I'll need, audio extractor, okay? Which is this. Second thing you'll need is the chat splitter, okay? Chat splitter. Now it's important to note, make sure you have the microphone and the headphone jack. Some of these, if you're just doing them real quick, it'll have two headphones, okay? So make sure it's a headphone and audio, okay? So th that's what you'll need, those two items. Okay, so that being said, we'll talk about the XLR. So very self-explanatory here. The first couple, first couple of inputs are very easy. Uh, boom mic goes here, duh. I'll get to the line in and the line out here in a minute. Um, all right, so like I said before, the A50s. I'm working off the A50s. It's a wireless. I, like, I don't like wires. Okay, so the base station of your A50 or the mix amp of your A40 or Turtle Beats, what have you, a jack will go from there into the headphone jack. Okay, this microphone jack for, for my setup I do not use it, okay? So boom mic, I'll talk about the line in, I'll talk about the line out here in a second. The headphones, this is where your audio out from your mix amp would go to, or the base station of your A50s would go to, okay? Uh, USB, obviously this goes to your computer. This is where uh, the, the optical cable from your HDMI uh, audio extractor comes from, right in the here, and then also obviously your power okay so that's how it's set up as far as the hardware okay very very simple moving on so i'll go over over the routing table i'll go ahead and do it this way so the routing table looks as follows um and, and you can play with this some uh there is some some wiggle room here it's just this is how i i prefer it with you know, how I separate some audio out. Um, 
so the broadcast stream mix this is everything which i'm sure if you're watching this you're very very familiar with the go xlr so i won't get too much in the details so uh just for my purposes i actually um uh, do not include my my microphone in the stream mix i actually separate that out that way i can do some other things to it some voice modulation and uh and mute or unmute whenever i need to so i don't include that but the main thing here you want to look at is your line out so uh line out for your mic and i'll explain that in a minute and then again all these uh, just play around with it but i promise you if if you copy what i have here you're not going to go wrong okay again if you're if you're watching this video you're probably pretty familiar with the go xlr anyway but here's my routing tree um this is what i would recommend and as you can see, uh, just for demonstration purposes, uh, I'm in an Xbox party chat, right? So um, what you're gonna have to do, and I'm sure you've probably done this before, but just to cover all bases. So in the bottom left here, you wanna go to your settings. Make sure, this is the Xbox console companion, okay? This will, my setup, this setup will only work if you, if you do your Xbox party on PC, it will not it will not work doing it like this, using um, the Xbox Party on the console. Okay, but this this works just as well. It's actually, I think a little bit easier. It's less cumbersome going through all the controllers. Um, download if you have in the Xbox Console Companion, not not the Xbox app, the Xbox Console Companion. A whole lot easier. So after you do this, go to your settings right here in the bottom left. And then make sure your party, your party is set to your chat. What, whatever, whatever channel, again, on your XLR, you know what this is. Whatever your chat channel is, whatever your chat output is, uh, set your party to that. Okay, mine's just called chat. Um, and then your microphone is this, right? So, uh, again, you, you're... The biggest thing is you're setting up your, your party, this party audio, the output, so all your buddies talking to you will come through your stream mix, and then you're talking to them, not the stream, you're talking to them with this, not the, not, not the headset mic, with the boom, okay? So you can see my mic is muted, I'm talking to them, you can see my little ring here light up, I'm talking, hello, Test, test, okay? So that, that, that's how I'm talking to them. Hopefully that, hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so with that, that's, that's it to a certain point, okay? So uh, with that set up, uh, you will be able to broadcast all, the, all your audio like you normally would, talk to all your buddies on your, on your app like you normally would or your party like you normally would. Uh, it's very very simple, but the, key, the 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 trick of this though is your game chat, not your party chat, but your actual in-game chat. Where if you're a streamer like I am, and I want to do random duos, random trios, quads, what have you, how do I get that game audio into the stream audio, and also how do I talk to them using this mic? It's very, very tricky, or it used to be very tricky and finicky until you get the solution right. So, with that being said, here is the solution. Let's see if I can get this one right here. Perfect. Okay. So, exit. Oh. So, this is where that chat splitter comes into play. Okay. I'll hold this up so that way you can see it. So the chat splitter, you see this here, chat splitter. Uh, again, I showed it to you earlier, chat splitter. So again, headphones and microphone. So you actually, you may need uh, a couple more uh, three and a half millimeter jacks, no big deal. So, but here's the thing. So your, your line in on the back of your Go XLR your line in that goes from your line in at go xlr into your headphones okay so this 
your headphone, headphones go into the line in. And then your line out, your microphone, your microphone goes to the line out. Not, not the mic input on the XLR, but your microphone chat splitter goes to the line out of the Go XLR. And then with that, then you just plug it into the bottom of your controller, right? And then you can see, hopefully this works. You can see in the top right-hand corner, top right-hand corner, let's see, I'll, I'll, do, it, I'll do it this way. Uh, here, in the top right-hand corner, I'm talking. Hello? 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 Okay. Also right here. See? So that way you know uh, at the same time. It works at the same time. So uh, doing it this way, I have game in-game audio. I have my party audio. And if I ever want to mute myself, uh, whether it be mute the party, or sorry, mute my microphone to my buddies, or mute... Uh, mute me on in the game or vice versa there's a little bit of a extra step involved so this is the only caveat so oh, and, and you can see i didn't change anything but i'm going you can see i'm talking in the party so this is testing testing oops come here test 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 and i'm talking also in the game as well top top right yeah top right okay that's how that works. But the kicker is it's a, it's a little bit cumbersome to if I want to talk to you guys, if I want to talk to the stream, if I'm going to talk to the chat, how do I mute me on the mic talking to my buddies and still talk to you? The answer is, and again, this is why I have the XL console companion. You go to here, like it's real simple, mute me. So I'm talking, talking, talking. Um, I just hit mute. Uh, and that way it cuts off the audio to them. I'm still talking to you. So uh, you can see I'm muted. Still muted, still muted, still muted. But I'm still talking in game. Okay. And my suggestion is if you have a, a stream deck, you can set up a hotkey. I think I have my hotkey is just enter. Because if I, if I scroll over this, um, as long as my mouse hasn't moved, I can just hit enter and it'll mute me back and forth. So I just have a hot key on the stream deck for enter. And that way, if I want to mute myself to my buddies, still talk to you, I just hit the hot key on my stream deck and it mutes me, uh, to, to all my friends. So I think, I think this is, this pretty much covers it. And hopefully I didn't ramble too long. Uh, I didn't want to get too far down the rabbit hole with this. Uh, if you have any questions, just by all means, let me know. Um, and and I, can, I can go over some more stuff in Streamlabs. Um, that's, that's what I use the broadcast is Streamlabs. I can go over what that looks like as far as your, your mixture in the bottom right. But this, this is more or less for streamers uh, doing it this way. Um, See, so yeah, like I said, any questions, let me know. Hopefully I covered everything. And now time for the shameless self-promotion. If this video helps you, by all means, hit the like and subscribe button for YouTube. I also do do stream on Twitch, usually quite often, about every day. Um, our goal is 50,000 followers. I think right now I'm at 37,500, somewhere through there. By all means, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put the link in the, in the description or somewhere on this video, what have you. Uh, by all means, go to there. Uh, every night, a stream about three or four hours, maybe four, four or five hours on the weekends. Like what you see, drop a like, drop a follow, and uh, this will be the first, hopefully, of uh, many videos to come. So thanks for watching. Any questions, just comment. See ya.